we are gonna go gather a group of purebred heifers and a couple cows. I have Jessica with me. Sometimes your best cowboys are a girl. So we got Sniper, Jess is on Sue, I'm on Mystic, and we're gonna go gather them up. There's a, a guy that has cattle across the river and he had 60 head of heifers get in here and I guess he's got one over by the little cabin. So we're gonna go see if we can get our others turned out and then we'll bring them over here and gather them up and then bring the other trailer and haul them all home. Grass is done. As you can see, not much there. And like crested wheat, something needs to catch the snow this winter. Here we go. So Jessica's been looking for rattlesnakes. We had a horse bit out here a month and some ago. Had to do some first aid on him. See the river's down quite a ways. Sandbars have grass growing on it. So we just got to take these up the hill. But we're trying to do it nice and easy because there's a guy with a truck and trailer that's got his heifer on there that he's coming. So we thought we'd just hang him here and just ease him up nice and gentle like. Sniper screwed up every time he's done anything. He seems to think he should go to the head and turn them all, so we're, he's getting corrective counsel. So we'll just keep gathering. So ease up just a little bit, Jess. So we're okay with him walking to this fence and then over. Just take him easy. Come on, little hipper. Anyhow, they're all fat and sassy, that's for sure. No question on that. But this is all crested wheat, this pasture here. We were in native grass earlier, but this one's all crested wheat and it's done. But you need so much growth to catch the snow so that it can grow early. But if you have the right April, it grows like crazy then and that's our early grass. So then it's nice to have a place to throw a few cows in April or some heifers or something so you got to take care of the grass so it can take care of you so we've got them up the hill we were down that away past Jess snipers still just being sniper I told him I was gonna shoot him and he gave me his puppy dog eyes and I said I guess I'm lying I won't shoot you he'll learn eventually I don't know, he used to be good and then he went bad on me. I guess he's in his teenage phase. So, but once they cross over this ravine, then we'll get him in the pen. So I'll probably won't show that because I'll be riding circles. I'll bring in a sec. Horse is dancing. Anyhow, we got him in this little panel trap and we'll haul these horses home and get a stock trailer. But we had one calf miss the gate opening and some communication problems. And then when I was trying to get him in, then my fearless dog screwed it all up three times, but thought we'd have to give him, give that calf 60 foot of nylon rope, but we didn't have to. So it settled down, we got it in. Looks like I need to go shut a gate and then we're good. We'll go haul them out. So we're just hanging out. My dad actually went to go get his gooseneck. And I can't remember what I show everyone, but I'll show you my saddle bag here. This is a medicine bag. And a cowboy at the Bar K2 named Wade Jensen made this for me. So we'll just open it here for a sec. And I guess I never thought about how hard it was to open with one hand. So I'm just undoing these zippers here. Anyhow. Yeesh. Guess I'm not a very good one-handed cowboy. So here's my res floor and my LA200. 
got syringes up there like I said and then when you're done you just zip it back up and you're good to go I used to keep everything in my cantle bag but I had a chance to do this and then most of the guys don't have the saddle bag over here because then when you're roping and dragging calves to the fire it can get caught but I opted to to have that put on just for extra storage so anyhow I don't show you too much of my gear but that's what I have and like I said I ride a rough out saddle I was told years ago that I could stay in better if I had a rough out and I fall off just as good but gives me a chance I guess so anyhow you guys don't get to see mystic too much because I'm always riding her and you always see snipey and Sue he spent the whole summer up at the ranch tie works on you can see his his brand did okay you can see mystics turned out really good we're gonna brand some more horses this fall Sue's just having a good rub rolling the sand Tiger was like, what the hell happened all day? You guys were gone, or all afternoon. And Mystic just finished rolling. She's gonna come say hi. Anyhow, my phone went absolutely dead on me. So I couldn't video us loading, which was okay, because it wasn't perfect. Oh, they must see the dog. Anyhow, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have yourselves a great day. Take care. Anyhow, just fed the ranch Bronx. Usually Mystic has to run after Tiger and squeal and everything, but she is hungry this time. I forgot to say that this was our first gather and it's our smallest gather, so just a few cows we brought home today. Mostly some purebred heifers. Anyhow, this is what horses are supposed to do. They're supposed to earn that feed. And they gotta do lots of work for when they're turned out all winter and just burn hay. But we try to graze our horses out in the field for a lot of the winter, but when it's cold, you gotta feed them, so. But glad I have me in that old yellow witch. She's my buddy. So, anyhow, gotta keep rambling. Take care.